there he is, creepy guy. So he's got this big, he looks like a, he's not, it's a big X on his back. That makes him a true bug. Yeah, let me see if I zoom out on him a little bit. He's not gonna like this that much, but let's see if we can get, a look at him. <laughs> he's probably gonna jump when I do this. No, he doesn't like it one bit. Well, anyway, that's a better view of him. Mm-hmm, totally. There's his front legs. You can see he's got these big grabber arms in the front. And he's off. Yeah. And he's gonna go nuts for about 10 minutes now. He's kind of camera shy, but he's really beautiful when we found him in the lake. And here he's kind of looking like he's out of his element. Oh no. He's getting there. Got all sorts of critters in here. Now I'm gonna see if I can pick him up. There he is. Well, he is not liking this one bit. Out of focus. There he goes. Not at all. Yeah, but I can't keep him. Can you turn that dial there a little mm -hmm. bit? Just loosen it? Mm -hmm. And now try to tighten it way up. And now let's see if we can get him in focus. Is he in focus? Kind of? Totally. Giant water bug. Now you can put a little Found light on Nick's birthday. Put a little light on him if you want. His shell is really hard when I hold him this way. And because he's a true bug, he doesn't have any tr chewing mouth parts. But he's he's got like a... Um, now look in there and, yeah, until the light looks really nice. Kind of, you know, you're, you're, you're aiming below him. There, uh, nope. There, higher, higher. That's, yeah, look, that, that's nice. But he has a, um, a little stabber. So they, these bugs stab plants, or if they're like this, a predaceous guy in the water, then he'll just stab another bug that he finds. So he's got like sort of a spike instead of a mouth, and he sucks up his food. So that's all bugs do that. Beetles are not like that. They eat. They have chewing mouth parts. So anyway, what's he called again? I cannot remember. A giant water bug. A giant water, giant bug, water bug. Which sounds really ugly and disgusting, but... Um, but he's really cute. Yeah, I, th I thought he looked really nice. There's his two grabber arms in the front. You mm -hmm. can see that. And we're looking at the book that described how to say what he was. And they described that the whole front, of, front end of his body is like a triangle. Like an arrowhead. And that his eyes sort of stick out beyond his head a little bit. They stick out to the sides. And that his upper arms on the two front arms are thick because they're muscular to allow him to grab. And anyway, that kind of sort of confirmed who he was. So now I'm going to let him go crazy here in the water. And he's offing. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Isn't it great? Yeah, he's cool. It's great. Oh, he's just floating over there waiting for us to... Let him go back in the lake when we're done with him. There he is, the bum. There's your other guy, too. The community of animals here. That's the oligosheet worm. That's an aquatic earthworm. That is a predaceous diving beetle going by. Kind Where's of the other one? The little one? We don't know what the little one is. Uh, which one? Oh, there are mites way over there, the water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> way in the top left-hand corner. You can barely see him. There's a little unidentified diving beetle went behind that shell. And this is this guy. He's camera shy. He's very exhausted. Oh, he There's the diving anywhere. beetle over here. And here's this guy. Here's the one we made the movie of before. Mm -hmm. He's exhausted, so he's sleeping. But he, you can... He moves around, too. Oh, he must be pooped. Don't, don't <laughs> spike my hand. And there's the beetles over there. They're sort of hanging out on the... There they go. They found each other. They're buddies now. Yeah. Go where he goes. They swim underwater, and they instead of regular bug legs, they have... Like feathered legs. So it sort of helps them swim. They propel themselves along. Okay, that's it.